Lake Health Systems welcomes you to this broadcast of high school boys basketball. We are here at the barn in New Knoxville where the Coldwater Cavaliers are taking on the New Knoxville Rangers. Tonight's game is being brought to you by the following sponsors. Clopay Building Products, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, Sydney All Glaze Audiology, and NK Telco. Thank you to those fine sponsors that are allowing us to do this tonight. And it's Midwest Athletic Conference week number one for these two schools as they score off here early in the season. Coldwater comes in with a record of one and one on the season. New Knoxville one and three. The Cavs opened up their season with a big win over Kenton 60 to 27 and then suffered a tough loss to a good Jackson Center team 57 to 32 in their last outing. New Knoxville picked up their first win of the season over Waynesfield. That game was played earlier this week. New Knoxville prevails in overtime, 67 to 58. So these two teams are squaring off here in week number one Midwest Athletic Conference action or Midwest Athletic Conference action here from the barn in New Knoxville. We are now ready for the national anthem. We will see that and then come back with our starting lineups and our keys to the game. The officials for tonight. Scott Mock, Brett Roberson, and Ben Mock. Scott Mock with 26 years, Roberson with nine, and Ben Mock with 10. And as we meet the Coldwater Cavaliers starting lineups. The first starter is number 21, Tyler Sweeterman, a 6'3 junior. 23 is Jay Mullenkamp. He's a 6'2 senior. <laughs> 34 is Ethan Post. He's a 6'3 senior. Leads the Cavaliers, averaging 12 points a game. 11 is Zach McKibben, 5'9 senior. Twenty is Miles Blossom game, six two senior, and the Cavaliers are led head coach by Nick Fisher in his fifth season at Coldwater. He's assisted by Ken Fisher and Chad Miller, and also Cody Mesher for New Knoxville. Number three, Max Henson, six one junior. Number 
24, Sammy Anspaugh, 6'4", senior. Twenty-two, Carson Beerline, six-four, junior. Four is Ryan Osborne, a five-ten, junior. And number twelve is Patrick Covert, a six-foot senior. The Rangers are led and head coached by Cole Fishbach in his first season. He is assisted by Josh Lisi and also junior varsity coach Keith Thomas. Our keys of the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. For the Cavaliers, they want to take good shots, not settle for what's available, but take good shots. They want to continue to defend and crash the boards on both ends, and they want to use their athleticism to take advantage of the opportunities get up and down the court with their speed and size. And from New Knoxville, they want to check out. They know that rebounding is going to be important, and they want to play through the laws. Coldwater is going to give them a handful to work with. they got to play through the downtimes and make the easy play. Take advantage of that when you get it. As we're underway here as put-back basket offensive rebound for the Cavaliers, number 21, Tyler Sweeterman. So offensive rebounding already as Sweeterman gets his own missed shot as we're underway with the Rangers in the white jerseys as Beerline shot no good. And it will stay with New Knoxville, so a team rebound. Rangers in the home white with red numbers trimmed in gray. Coldwater wearing the road black jerseys with orange lettering and numbering trimmed in white. Beerline nice up and under, connects. So both teams convert on both teams convert on the multiple looks, if you will, in their first possession. Turnover is Patrick Covert. Nice anticipation. Reading the pass, getting a steal for New Knoxville. Osborne with the basketball to Covert in the corner. Seven minutes left. We played one minute as an entry pass knocked away by the Cavaliers. Back-to-back -back turnovers for each team. Blazingame gets help and they reset a little bit with Blazingame now with the basketball. This is Miles and he's going to be fouled by Patrick Covert. Six foot senior Patrick Covert picks up his first foul, team's first. Zach McKibben will trigger the inbounds pass and they get it to Post. Up to Sweeterman, back to Ethan Post in the corner, his three-point shot no good, rebounded by Max Henschen. Beer line being guarded, man-to-man -man defense by the Cavaliers. Covert now with the basketball. Gets a attempted at a screen by Anspaugh, is nearly coming away with the steal, Zach McKibben, he is very quick and knocked it away but could not run it down as he just touched the edge line. It will stay with New Knoxville. Max Henschen will throw it in. And they'll pick up a remnant of a pom-pom and go back to action here with 6-12 to go. The score 2-2 two to two here at New Knoxville. Carson Beerline, the junior, with the basketball being guarded by Tyler Sweeterman. Good pressure, but Beerline able to withstand it as his shot doesn't drop. Covert's tip doesn't go. Then quickly on the other end goes Coldwater's number 23, Mullenkamp. He's unable to get his shot to drop. New Knoxville survives and comes away with the basketball. Henshin, left-handed shot off the glass and in. The Euro step of sorts for Henshin. His first shot off the glass is good. Four to two in favor of the Rangers. Henshin had 15 points in the overtime win against Waynesfield. Nine of those coming in the overtime period. The game was tied at 50-50. New Knoxville goes on to win 67 to 58 in overtime. And also scoring the double figures in that victory for New Knoxville, Patrick Covert and Carson Beerline, each with 16 apiece. 
as Unox will earn their first win of the season. 67-58 on the road. The Rangers are actually 0-3 at home. This is their fourth home game already. Lost to Anna, Allen East, and Fort Lormie. Drive to the basket and shot taken by Mullenkamp, no good. Patrick Covert comes away with the rebound. So good job securing the one and done for New Knoxville. Limiting the Coldwater Cavs to just the one shot. Beer line in the baseline, no good. A little strong on the shot. Rebounded by the Cavaliers. Mullenkamp open for three, no good. Rebounded offensively by Post. And Post gets a second chance opportunity the second time tonight for the Cavaliers. They have four, all four of their points have come on offensive rebounds. Ball knocked out of bounds. Substitutions for New Knoxville. Ryland Durness, number 10, six foot senior in for the Rangers and also for Coldwater. We'll get their newcomers to the game here as that will be number 34, no that's post. Henshin finds beer line. Knocked away from Carson beer line. Turnover the second of the quarter. This is Ethan Post for an open three in the corner. No good off the mark. Gets his own missed shot. And there's a whistle and a foul against New Knoxville. Interesting. Foul goes against beer line, his first. Carson Molenkamp, number 10, one of the newcomers for the Cavaliers. Post with it, gets it knocked away, but it right into the hands of McKibben. And a Ranger foul coming up here as McKibben will go to the line. Personal foul on Sam Anspaugh, his first team's third. Officials for this evening, I mentioned earlier, Scott Mock. Brett Roberson and Ben Mock as McKibben scores his first point of the night. You score Coldwater now on top five to four. Make it six on the good free throws. For the Cavaliers, Miles Blazing game back in and Ryan Osborne replaces Patrick Covert for New Knoxville. Full court pressure being applied here by the Cavaliers. Henshin back to Durness. Durness had nine points in the Ranger win. Gets it off to Henshin, out of bounds. Turnover New Knoxville in the third of the quarter for New Knoxville, six to four in favor of the Cavaliers. Three minutes and 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Man-to-man -man defense by the Rangers. Open shot or drive to the basket. And another foul against New Knoxville. Lance Paul didn't quite get, I guess, right front coverage. He was standing still, but going kind of off the angle was Mullenkamp. And he draws the foul, the second against Anse Paul. So a tough break for New Knoxville here early in the game. Anse Paul will pick up a second foul. Two free throws coming by Mullenkamp. That went off back iron. Covert will replace Anse Paul with the two quick fouls. Three twenty-five to go in the first quarter. Six-two senior Mullenkamp connects on his second free throw for his first point. And 11 and 21 for Coldwater. McKibben and Sweeterman back in for Coach Fisher in his fifth season, a 53 and 49 mark in that tenure at Coldwater. Alumni of Coldwater graduated back in, I believe, 1986. He's been teaching at Coldwater for 22 years as an eighth grade science teacher. Had four years previous to that at St. Mary's. There's a nice pass, good shot missed by Durness. Good offense there by New Oxford. They come away with no points, but a long time school teacher, Nick Fisher, 26 years, 22 of those at Coldwater, and the last five 
coaching years, if you will, have been at Coldwater by Coach Fisher. And there's an offensive charge by Mullenkamp. It'll be the second Coldwater turnover. And New Knox's basketball, 2.52 to go. We mentioned those years at Coldwater. He's married to Amy, have four kids, Betsy, Leanne, Ted, and Kevin, who is a junior on the basketball team. Henshin with the basketball with 2.40 to go in the first quarter. A three-point Coldwater lead, 7-4. to four. Osborne, his three-pointer off the mark, didn't get a good handle on it. And it will go over to the Cavaliers as Jared Underwood, number 50, a 6'3 senior, in for New Knoxville with two minutes, 33 seconds to go. Walking the ball at the quarter, Zach McKibben. Open three is Miles Blazing Game. It is missed. There should be a foul on the Cavs as going high for the rebound was covert. He was pushed from behind. It goes against 21. Tyler Sweeterman, his first team's second. Again, a little basically full court pressure, moderate. And then they'll pick him up at half court. It's 10 versus 10. Osborne, or Durness versus Molenkamp. Covert, fade away off the glass, and then Patrick Covert, his first two points of the night. Quickly in transition, the Cavaliers go at the glass. Shot by Blazing, Blazing Game, no good. Rebounded by New Knoxville. And a one-point Coldwater lead, 7-6. to six, Minute 45 to go. Boy, tough pass. Not a lot of room in there. This is New Knoxville's fourth turnover. And Durness does a nice job preventing transition there by the Cavs, knocking it out of bounds. With a minute 38, first quarter left here at New Knoxville. I'm Jeff Henson with the Cavaliers and Rangers Midwest Athletic Conference action. Turnover, cold water. Good hands by Osborne to knock it away. Beerline comes up with a steal. And a little wildness right now as New Knoxville will save the turnover. They would have still had it on the possession, but they will take a timeout first. It is a 30 second timeout with a score. 7 to 6 in favor of Cole Water with a minute 28 left. Coach Cole Fishbach, I talked about Coach Fisher on the Coldwater side. Coach Fishbach in his first season at New Knoxville as head coach. He's a 2013 Delta St. John's graduate. Spent the past six seasons as either a freshman or JV coach under Coach Aaron Elwer at St. John. So a good mentor, leader to, to learn from. There in Coach Elwer and Co Coach Fishbach also married this summer in July to his wife, Nicole. Currently, Cole is actually working at New Knoxville getting his student teaching stuff done as he's trying to get a master's in education of mathematics from Western Governors University as there is a foul. So the foul goes against Osborne. So a tough break for New Knoxville. They burn a timeout to save the held ball that they would have got anyways. And then they come out of a timeout and commit a foul. So it goes back to cold water. And there's going to be a block foul. A lot of speed right there by Carson Mullenkamp. And he picks up a foul against New Knoxville's Carson Beerline. And a tough break for New Knoxville. That is Beerline's second foul. So both Beerline and Ansball with two personal fouls. And when you have that much speed, it's tough to get your in correct position. And there's another foul. This time it's on Rylander Ness, his first, team's seventh. So about like the JV game, New Knoxville has been called for a lot of fouls. And in for the Cavaliers, number 40, Jesse Myers, 6'5", junior for Coach Fisher with a minute 14 left in the first quarter. Molenkamp, the first bonus opportunity free throw, and it rattles and drops in. Molenkamp, 6'1", senior, his first point of the night is also for New Knoxville. Reed Thomas, number five, replacing Durness. Thomas had six points, had a couple three-point baskets in the Waynesfield 
game in which again the Rangers won in overtime 67-58. Underwood recovers the missed shot. Sixth rebound of the quarter for New Knoxville. As we approach the final 60 seconds here at New Knoxville. Get there right now, 60 seconds left. Covert, his pass tipped away, stolen by McKibben. McKibben will steal it and score the other end. So good job taking advantage of New Knoxville's fifth turnover. Zach McKibben, a very quick athlete. Final 40 seconds. Manchin loses handle, gets it back. And he is bumped. That fist went in the air for the foul, but the whistle not blown. Tough break for New Knoxville. And as it looked like there was some contact, and the official raised his fist, but uh, did not blow the whistle. So a quick back-to-back -back buckets via the turnover. And Coldwater has converted two steals into four quick points, and a whistle at half court. Body contact goes on number 10, Carson Mullenkamp, his second foul. And for the final 16 seconds, New Knox will gamble a bit with Beerline and Anspaugh both coming in to try to get some offense here and hopefully not pick up their third foul. The Rangers will get the lineup set. 16 seconds to go, a 12-6 cold water lead. Remember, they've scored four points here very recently on steals and scoring layups at the other end for four quick points. Boy, another pick by McKibben. He misses the shot, trying to be maybe just a little too delicate. And McKibben misses it. Henshin there battled as it goes out of bounds. So a team rebound for New Knoxville. Six seconds to go. Beer line with the basketball being guarded by Ethan Post. Step through three-pointer off the mark by Beer line. And there is your first quarter buzzer with a score. Coldwater 12, New Knoxville 6. You're watching high school boys basketball on NK Telco Sports. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized, caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Thank you to the following sponsors, Brookside Laboratories, 
east of Chicago Pizza. Second quarter set here at New Knoxville on this Grand Lake Health Systems presentation of high school boys basketball. Tonight's contest involves the Cavaliers and the Rangers as Coldwater outscores New Knoxville 12 to six in the first quarter and four of those points came at the very end off of steals. New Knoxville turned the ball over nine times as Covert pulls up and hits a big jumper for the Rangers, his fourth point. Nine turnovers for the Rangers in that first quarter. Probably lucky to only be down by six, now make it four. Coldwater did not shoot very well from the field, just four of 14. Is that one off of the Cavalier? And they will commit their fourth turnover. They committed three in the first quarter. But Coldwater didn't shoot real well. They got just four makes. Two of them were early off of offensive rebound opportunities. And then the final two were layups where they stole the ball and went to the rim uncontested. So. I mean, Oxford with a lot of turnovers, but fortunate to be still kind of in the game. And there's a hand check violation on Jay Mullenkamp, number 23, his first team's fourth. And that's something New Knoxville will hope to do is try to go at the Cavaliers and get the call, if you will, with the illegal defense. And as they get into Henshin in the backcourt, he's being guarded by Mullenkamp, plenty of time yet to get it across. As there he goes, high gear. Picked up a foul the last time, getting some change of pace with the dribble. Turness going to the baseline, trying to create room, gets in the covert. Good pass, good shot. Just got blocked by the rim. Empty trip for New Knoxville. Here come the Cavaliers. Mullenkamp, his shot off the bank board, and then Jay Mullenkamp, his third point. Henshin with the basketball, the score 14 to eight as we are approaching the 645 mark of the second quarter. Henshin all the way to the basket, little strong with the drive, off the mark, rebounded by the Cavaliers. And with a nice change of pace, with nice speed, Zach McKibben scores it. He now has six for the 5'9 senior. Eight point cold water lead. Camp is a fast athlete. Covert, elbow jumper, off the rim, no good. Rebounded by the Cavs. And this is number 20, Blazing Game. His three-point shot, just strong off back iron. And the Rangers will give it right back on their ninth turnover. I should say they had eight in the first quarter. Now nine is back in for New Knoxville. Our beer line and Ants ball, each of those players with two fouls. Rangers had played playing man-to-man -man defense. They go now to a 2-3 Syracuse style zone defense. Nick or Kevin Fisher, number 41 in the game. Pull up jumper by Blas in game is good. Blas in game, his first two points. And the score is now a 10 point deficit, 18 to eight. Henshin will get a screen from Anspaugh. Beer line inside the three point arc, buries the long two point shot, his fourth point of the night. And the Rangers now have 10. As Blazing game with the basketball, scored the last bucket for the Cavaliers. Entry pass knocked away, was intended for Swiderman, Carson Beerline playing with the two fouls, able to knock it away and avoid the foul. Covert, his three-pointer, no good. And a good job defensively by the Cavaliers, limiting New Knoxville to the one shot as we go under the five-minute mark, second quarter. Blazing, Blazing game shot off the mark, but offensive rebound keeps it with the Cavaliers. Swiderman loses a handle, Henshin with Covert in front of him, basket covert, assist Henshin. Now a six point lead for the Cavs as Knoxville has hung in here. They force a third turnover of the quarter for the Cavaliers. It's a sixth in the game. Ethan Post, what an answer from Ethan Post after New Knoxville made a run. Post puts the lead back at nine with his first three point basket of the game. He has five points in the contest as we approach the halfway point of the second quarter. 
Four minutes, 11 seconds and counting. Henshin with the basketball in the corner with defense coming on Ethan Diller, 14. Now Durness with it, being guarded by Kevin Fisher. Beer line. Had the ball knocked away, it'll stay with New Knoxville. Again, pretty aggressive man-to-man -man defense by the Cavaliers. Osborne for the Rangers will come in replacing Henshin. With 3.51 to go, the score 21 to 12 in favor of Coldwater. They led by six at the end of one quarter. Dangerous pass, it stays with the Rangers. They avoid the turnover. Keep possession. Covert needs help. He's being guarded closely by Blazing Game. And the turnover, the second of the quarter. 10 now in a game for the Rangers with 3.34 to go. Biggest lead has been 10, 18 to 8 in favor of the Cavaliers. Right now it's 9. As a pass by classmates there, Fisher and Meyer, just off of Abitas. Fisher tried to hit Meyer, though he made his cut inside. Henshin back in for New Knoxville. Covert running the offense. Henshin being guarded by Fisher. A lot of hand checking going on by the Cavaliers. They're a very physical, strong, athletic team. Pass somehow got into Osborne. Not sure how it made it, but a threading the needle by Henshin for the assist. Bucket by Osborne. He is fouled. And New Knoxville has a chance to cut to lead to within six. 21-14 with Osborne at the line for one free throw. That one. Curls in, didn't have a lot of arch on it, but it will go in for Ryan's third point of the game. 21-15 with three minutes to go until half. Meyer with positioning. And Jesse Meyer, a 6'5 sophomore, his first points of the night. Henshin being guarded by Fisher. Beerline with the basketball. Beerline, Henshin, Fisher. That was a nice move. Beerline and Henshin played with Fisher and Meyer a year of basketball together in the spring league. AAU stuff. And straight on shot by number 34. Three pointers missed. A follow up bucket by Meyer. So Meyer back to back buckets. And that one, a. Offensive stick back again for the Cavaliers at six points off offensive rebounding for Coldwater. As Underwood replaces Ant's ball, he maybe went down. We'll see once if he's tweaked something or if he's just getting a rest here. Eight point lead. As Covert will run the offense with Two minutes left to go in the first half. Eight point cold wire lead, it was six. Henshin open for three in the corner, off the mark. Beerline stick back. So Carson Beerline, six points in the quarter, eight in the game. First offensive rebound of the quarter for New Knoxville and it results in points. Three point shot by Post, no good. And a foul away from the ball is going to be called against number 14, Ethan Diller. Yeah, Ethan Diller, his second foul. Free throws for New Knoxville. Osborne hit the first free throw of the game for New Knoxville. Beerline a chance to hit the second. He does just that. Nine points in the first half for Carson Beerline and New Knoxville has gotten within five with a minute 41 left in the half. And that one off the iron, no good. Rebounded by the Cavaliers, number 21, Tyler Swederman. Five point lead for the Cavs. They get the ball into Meyer. And the 
foul goes against Henschen. Myers got six points in the quarter. So Meyer, six points here in the quarter. 6'5", junior, was a member of the state championship football team for Coldwater. So also was a punter for the Cavaliers. That one off the back iron, no good, rebounded by Osborne. Seven point lead with a minute 25 to go. New Knoxville has trailed much of the second quarter, or basically much of the, the game, if not all of it. Biggest lead was by 10 by the Cavaliers. New Knoxville had it down to five just moments ago before the Jesse Meyer basket. 15 footer for beer line, no good. Rebounded by the Cavaliers again, number 21, Tyler Swiderman. McKibben, he's gonna be fouled. Again, just a lot of speed, and if you're not square on, they will call the foul as Anse Paul tried to just stand still, but instead picks up his third foul. Number 11, Zach McKibben, two free throws. He made two foul shots in the first quarter. He has six points on the game. Make that seven. And it makes it an eight point lead as Reed Thomas will replace Anse Paul. He's had limited minutes with the foul situation. McKibben looking for his eighth point, and he does exactly that. Four for four from the free throw line for McKibben. Nine point deficit with 58 seconds to go, so important possession here for the Rangers. Beer line able to get the inbounds pass and will work against Tyler Swiderman, a 6'3 junior. Beer line thought he knocked it over and it was tipped away, so he avoids the violation and instead picks up the personal foul against Tyler Swiderman. So an awkward play there, a benefit for New Knoxville, or a break, I should say, and Beer line will have a one and one. Beer line on the night with nine points. Seven of them here in the quarter. He was one of two from the line with 44 seconds left in the second. A nine point Cavalier lead. In and out, I should say it won't drop. Rebounded by Meyer. And the Cavaliers have a chance to build upon their nine point lead. Pass to post, turned over. Good defense by New Knoxville. And they come away, they force the Cavaliers into their fifth turnover of the quarter, their eighth of the game. Again, a lot of ball pressure defense by the Cavaliers, making it very difficult for New Knoxville to get a good look, if you will. Final 15 seconds of the half. Covert to beer line. He'll step back, take a long three and bury it. Six point lead, not much time left and the desperation ho he will not drop. As Meyer, his shot does not score. And after two quarters of basketball, it's the Cavaliers 29, the Rangers 23. We'll be back in 10 minutes for the start of the second half here on NK Telco Sports. Hello, New Bremen. I'm Matt Everidge with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your cable, telephone, and internet services. Hey, Minster. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, New Knoxville. I am Wesley Meyer at NK Telco. We are here for you and your customer service needs. Hey, Maria Stein. I'm Ken with NK Telco, and we are here for you with hometown pride. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. 
Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Here's the thing. If you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwiedemann Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage expert since 1946. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. At Home and Interiors, our team loves to design beautiful yet cost-effective projects. From sleek and simple to elaborate and detailed, we customize to fit your tastes and budget with free interior design and color coordination. Visit our 5,000 square foot kitchen design center and bring your next project to life. Full custom kitchen and bath cabinets are built right here in New Bremen. Home and Interiors, your vision designed for your budget. Please support the following sponsors. Forever Fit, Rachel's Cakes, Speedway Lanes, Balmer Construction, Jewelry Barn, Tom and Jerry's, Western Ohio Mortgage. Grand Lake Health Systems welcomes you back to the second half of our broadcast of this high school boys varsity basketball game between the Coldwater Cavaliers and the New Knoxville Rangers. We're at the barn in New Knoxville where the Cavaliers have a six point Lead at halftime, 29-23. Our numbers look like this for the first half. The Cavaliers from the field were 11 of 26 from the field. Of those, they were one of eight from three-point shooting. Cavaliers also, or New Knoxville, 10 of 23 from the field. They were one of five from three-point range. Cavaliers, six of nine from the free throw line. New Knoxville, two for four. Rebounding margin, Coldwater pulled down 17 rebounds. New Knoxville pulled down 11. Cavaliers of those 17, five of those were offensive rebounds that they were able to score six points off of. New Knoxville had one second chance opportunity they put back for two points. Turnovers, Coldwater with eight. New Knoxville with 10. New Knoxville had eight of those in the first quarter. Did a much better job in the second quarter with just the two turnovers. Scores in the game for the Cavaliers. Zach McKibben with eight. Jesse Meyer with six, all those in the second quarter. Five from Ethan Post. Three from Carson Mullenkamp. Two from Mile Blassing game. Two from Tyler Sweeterman. And three from Jay Mullenkamp, their total of 29. Four New Knoxville. Max Henschen with two. Ryan Osborne with three. Patrick Covert, six. And Carson Beerline with a dozen to score or for the New Knoxville's 23 points at halftime. It was a six point Ranger deficit at the end of the first quarter and both teams scored 17 in the second quarter and that's where the lead for Coldwater stays at 29-23 as we get set with second half action here from the barn on NK Telco Sports. You're watching this game through the key motion system. The camera system is a nice drive by number 34, Ethan Post. And he was going against Anspaugh, who has the three fouls. So maybe that was by design. But nonetheless, a great move by Post as the ball knocked out of bounds by 
the Cavaliers as Covert slides to the ground, avoids the turnover, fortunately, for New Knoxville. And it will be New Knoxville basketball underneath with Patrick Covert, number 12, the six-foot senior. Gets it into his classmate, Ants Paul. Back to Covert, good move, getting around the defender, and he is fouled. Two shots coming up for Covert. Six points for Covert in the first half. This is the first free throw. The score remains 31-23. Covert connects on his second opportunity, his seventh point. 31-24. In favor of the Cavaliers, Coach Nick Fisher in his fifth season at the helm of the Cavaliers. Coach Cole Fishbach in his first at New Knoxville. Strong move to the basket. Number 20, mild blasting game. His fourth point. Henshin being guarded by Mullenkamp. Finds a bit of a crease, pull up jumper. Buries it, good move on the baseline. Tough shot, his fourth point of the night. And it goes back to seven point deficit. Assist, Sweeterman, basket, Mullenkamp. Mullenkamp his fifth point. Knoxville tries to go back door. And there's a held ball, so New Knoxville will avoid the turnover. It'll stay with the Rangers here on this end. Six minutes, 31 seconds to go in the third quarter. New Knoxville one and three on the season. Coldwater comes in at one and one. Rangers coming off their first win, a 67-58 victory over Waynesfield Goshen in overtime earlier this week. Covert and Beerline lead the Rangers with 16, Henshin with 15 as the Rangers turn it over in the inbounds. Pass, Ethan the post for three. Boy, that's a big turn there. New Knoxville turns it over and post gets his fifth point of the third quarter. He is now in double figures with 10. And it is now a 12 point deficit. 38 26. Beer line finds a bit of a crease. His shot will not drop. Rebounded by Tyler Sweeterman. A good start to the quarter for the Cavaliers. They've yet to miss a shot from the field. They have nine points. I'll make it 11. And there's a timeout on the court. A full timeout. Called by New Knoxville with the Cavaliers have opened it up here in the third quarter. They lead 40 to 26 with 5.48 to go in the third quarter. You watch a high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. Five forty-eight left. New Knoxville <clears throat> takes the timeout. The Cavaliers have scored on all five of their possessions to start the half and scored a three-pointer by Ethan Post after a turnover by the Rangers to kind of throw salt in the wound. And Coach Fishbach takes the timeout, try to resettle his troops a bit. The Rangers need a basket here in this possession. 
Covert gets into beer line. Her shot is off the mark and rebounded by Covert. So the Rangers will get another look offensively here. McKibben picks up his second foul. And the second team foul of the half for Cavaliers. Covert's first shot does not drop. Covert one of two from the line and earlier in the third quarter. Now one for three. He scored six first half points. Gets the second one to drop. Two for four from the free throw line is eighth point of the night. It's a 13 point lead in Knoxville now. Half court trapping defense. Good ball movement by the Cavaliers to break the pressure. Try to spread or force New Knoxville to run. Baseline jumper by Ethan Post short. Rebounded by Ryan Osborne. So good job defensively by New Knoxville. The first empty trip for Coach Fisher's team. Beer line, couple steps beyond the three point arc. But no problem, that's a second long distance three pointer he's made tonight. He has 15 in the game. And that puts the lead back at 10. So a couple good possessions for New Knoxville. They try to climb back into this game against the Cavaliers. Pull up jumper from 15 by Blasting Game, no good. They come away with offensive rebound. And Blazing Game goes right back at the action, and there's a foul and a whistle. Beerline picks up his third foul, and picked up those fouls. He and Anselm both got two fouls early in the first quarter. Two free throws for Mile Blazing Game. He makes the first. Fifth point of the night for the 6'2 senior. Makes both of them. Back to a 12 point lead. Covert was double teamed for a bit as they get the ball into Anspaw. Offensive stick back by Beerline. Good follow, good play by the Rangers. Anspaw shot just a little strong. But second chance opportunity, New Knoxville takes advantage of it. Post shot off the glass and in. Post having a nice quarter, seven and a quarter, 12 on the game. Tension being guarded by Mullenkamp. Has the ball taken away by McKibben and he will, he's done that often tonight as McKibben. The scoop and the score. Covert being guarded by McKibben again. As McKibben nearly creates another turnover. In for the Cavaliers, number 10, Carson Mullenkamp, 6'1", senior, and also number 32, Reese Mesher, 5'11", junior. Covert finds Anspaugh. Back to... Covert with 3.25 to go. 46-32 the score. Beer line, spin move off the glass and in. Seven points in a quarter, 19 in the game for the junior. Back to a 12 point lead for the Cavaliers, 46-34. Post up top to Mullenkamp. Three minutes left and Coach Fisher will take a full timeout. With 2.59 left to go in the third quarter, Coldwater leads New Knoxville 46 to 34 here on NK Telco Sports.
2.59 left here in the third quarter. It was a six point spread at the end of the first quarter, a six point spread at halftime, 29-23. And they've doubled that, have the Cavaliers. They now lead by 12, 46-34. Your Knoxville 2-3 zone defense with Covert and Derness on top. Underwood and Beerline tracing the ball down below. Shot taken by Mullenkamp, no good. Rebounded by New Knoxville. Balance pass to Durness and he is fouled and good backdoor cut by Durness. Nice bounce pass by Henshin and Durness will be rewarded with the two free throws coming up. Foul goes against number 21. Tyler Swigerman his third. Durness yet to score tonight. Has two free throws here to try to cut the lead back to 10 with 2.28 to go in the third quarter. And the first free throw by the six foot senior is good. Jesse Meyer, number 40. And also Milo Blasingame back in for the Cavaliers. Jurness looking for a two for two night at the stripe. That one no good. Blasingame with the basketball against the new Knoxville zone defense. Entry pass into post, had it tipped by Beerline. Covert shot challenged and missed. Good job by the Cavaliers to come back and play good defense. So Knoxville created the first turnover of the quarter by the Cavs, but they cannot come up with points. Each team with just one turnover here in the third quarter. They've been a, both teams doing a nice job. There's a Looked like a travel. And what a shot there by number 10. Three-pointer Carson Molenkamp, his sixth point on the night. 49 to 35 with a minute 30 to go in the third quarter. Good shooting here in the third quarter by the Cavaliers. And before the tie-up, Underwood shuffled his feet to create the second New Knoxville turnover. One minute, 23 seconds left in the third. One, two, three. As Beerline and Underwood check out. 49 to 35. Coldwater has only missed three shots here in the third quarter. Knoxville, a different defense here. It looks like a one, three, one. Good ball movement by the Cavaliers. Mullenkamp shot no good. Offensive rebound by the Cavs. And the Rangers pick up the foul against Max Henschen, his second, team second. Minutes six left, 66 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Zach McKibben, the bounce pass into Jesse Meyer and the soft touch off the glass by the 6'5 junior now has eight points in the game. 15 point lead, 51, 16 point lead, 51, 35. The final 50 seconds here of the quarter. It's been a good one for the Cavaliers. They've opened up the 12 point game, or the six point game to now 16. 42 seconds left. Covert. With the basketball being guarded by the ever defensive specialist McKibben. Pass into Henshin. Turned over, if you will. It looked like it almost went in, but a deflected pass will belong to the Cavaliers, but only temporarily as good hands by the Rangers knock it off of a Cavalier and give the ball right back to New Knoxville with 26 seconds to go. Durness will bring it up for New Knoxville. Clock running. We go under 20 seconds here to the third. Durness trying to hit Henshin back door, knocked off of the leg of Mullenkamp or McKibben, one of the two, but uh, nonetheless, good job defensively by the Cavaliers to throw out that or stop that opportunity. 12 seconds left. 
The ball thrown into beer line, tipped out of bounds. He stays with the Rangers, 11.7. 16 point lead for the Cavaliers. Long pass, clock running, Henshaw will run it down, under 10 to go. And there's a foul by McKibben as he has been in the face of a number of Ranger ball handlers tonight. He's probably stolen at least three for sure and taken them to the basket for layups. Before they get the ball on bounds, they will sub McKibben and take him out and put number 33, Marcel Blasing game in with the final five seconds. Four team fouls for the Cavaliers. Beer line gets it. Not much time left. Janess will shoot a three-pointer. Off the back iron, no good. And there is your third quarter buzzer. And after three, it's Cavaliers of Coldwater 51. New Knoxville 35, you're watching high school sports on NK Telco Sports. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center offers a family-friendly environment with a personalized approach to reduce pain, restore function, and improve mobility. Dr. Christopher Stuckey specializes in reconstructive foot and ankle surgery, diabetic foot care, trauma including fractures and sports injuries, along with bunions, hammer toes, and ingrown toenails. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center has offices located in St. Mary's and Salina. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-394-8664. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Hey, mister. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, Botkins. I'm Brett Gerstner with NK Telco, and we are here for you and to help you operate your business network. Hey, Maria Stein. I'm Ken with NK Telco. And we are here for you with Hometown Pride. Hi, Arishi. I'm Tim Metzger. And we are here for you for your installation of your telephone, cable TV, and internet. Contact NK Telco at 1-888-NK-TELCO. For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. Thank you to the following sponsors. Cargill, Victory Machine, Hometown Opportunity, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Wagner's IGA, Hulesman Automotive. Final quarter underway here with the Cavaliers. The first possession of quarter number four. They have a 16 point lead and they did so with some good shooting and there's a whistle and a timeout, a 30 second timeout. Coldwater outscored New Knoxville 22 to 12 in that third quarter and they did so with great shooting from the field. They were eight for 12 with the Cavaliers in the third quarter. Seven of 10 from two point range, one of two from three point range and a perfect two for two from the free throw line. And they didn't miss many, only four and a quarter. And I know they made their first five shots for sure. They were a perfect five for five and that really opened up the six point game to double digits. And that's where it's been, New Knoxville's at times, got it down to 10, but right now it's 16 for the Cavaliers. So Coach Fisher takes a timeout as felt his team was in a little bit of trouble there in the corner with 7.51 left. Inbound to Jesse Meyer, he's got eight points on the night. Make it 10. Shooter's touch for the 6'5 senior or junior, 6'5 junior. Had six points in the second quarter and a basket here in the third and fourth for 10 on the night. Beer line trying to manufacture some offense here. 
Gives it back to Covert. Beerline had seven points in the quarter as Covert takes it to the basket and scores for New Knoxville. Covert now with 10 points as well, but to follow up on Beerline, seven in the third quarter gives him 19 now in the game for the junior, number 22. Open look for three, off the mark. Rebounded by Ryan Osborne. Covert pulls up, open three, and he hits it. Five quick points by Patrick Covert. And back to a 13 point lead now for the Cavaliers. Ticked away, stolen by the Rangers. Beerline created the turnover. Osborne came up with a steal. And going to the basket is uh, Patrick Covert. He is fouled. So, boy, good start to the quarter for the senior, number 12, Patrick Covert. He already has five in the quarter. 13 points on the game, six at halftime, two free throws in the third quarter gave him eight. And then the two and a three here already have given him 15 or 13 points on the night. Struggling a bit from the line. He was two for four, now make it two for five. As the Rangers trail by 13 points with 6.41 left. And just like all of his other opportunities, Covert hits the second of his two shots. Half court trapping defense by New Knoxville trying to create de uh, turnovers. Or maybe even force the Cavaliers into a, a rushed shot. Open three pointer by McKibben. No good. Ethan Post, though, with the follow up. So a big offensive second chance there by the Cavaliers this time. Post, who also had a good third quarter, scoring seven points. Now it's 14 in the game. And Covert will go back to the line. He is fouled by McKibben. So McKibben now picks up his fourth foul with still over six minutes to go. We'll see once if Coach Fisher rides with McKibben on the court with the four. Here's a chance for New Knoxville, though, with the clock stopped. Covert with two shots. And he breaks his pattern. He makes his first of the attempts. He's had already had now four shooting fouls. So this will be attempt number eight. He's four for seven now. And make it five, or sorry, five for eight now. So good trip there by Covert. It's a 12 point cold wire lead as we go under six minutes to play. Post for an open three, in and out no good. Another offensive rebound. So good job by Tyler Swederman. That's the second trip, second time here. Back-to-back -back possessions. The Cavaliers have missed the shot, got the rebound, and put it back for points to keep the lead now at 14. Deer line finds Anspaugh, open three off the mark. Coldwater secures the defensive rebound, and they are fouled by Covert. Covert, his second foul of the game, the third for New Knoxville here in the half. 5.29 left. Remains 57 to 43, a 14 point lead for Coldwater. Carson Mullen camp up the court to Blazing Game. Back to Mullen camp in. To Jay Mullen camp, there we go. Open player inside, good pass by the Cavs. Tyler Sweeterman uncontested as a breakdown on defense. Sweeterman four points in the quarter, sixth in the game. Five minutes left, 59 to 43. Anspaugh stepped back, three pointer off the mark, short. Osborne runs it down, but uh, it will stay with the Rangers as they nearly throw it away. They'll get another look here. And there is a turnover, the first of the quarter for New Knoxville. Each team with a turnover here in the quarter. 4.37 left to go with a 16 point lead and Durness will foul. Number 20, Miles Blassen game. His second foul. 
Henschen in the game for Osborne. Four team fouls for New Knoxville and a timeout by Coach Fisher will be called. 4.32 left, a full timeout. Coldwater leads New Knoxville 59-43 watching high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. Four minutes, 32 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Coldwater leads New Knoxville 59 to 43. Coach Fisher has taken a timeout. We'll see once if they spread the court or continue to maybe run offense. And right now it's number 20, Miles Blasting game with the basketball over to Mullenkamp, number 10. Weave offense here. They will probably make New Knoxville expend a lot of energy on defense. Content with a 16 point lead. Take that back. Ethan Post will fire a three, but get the offensive rebound back. A big break there for the Cavaliers. And taking advantage of it is number 21, Tyler Sweeterman. Sweeterman, six points in the quarter. And that is six points on offensive, offensive second chance rebounds by the Cavaliers. So they have three offensive rebounds in the quarter due to the Cavaliers. And Converted them all back into two-point baskets. 18-point lead, 61-43. Henshin with the basketball, finds beer line. Covert open for three. Rebounded by the Cavaliers. Classing game. And the Cavaliers... Facing the man-to-man -man defense by New Knoxville. Content right now probably to run some clock. They lead by 18 with three minutes and 25 seconds to go in the game. But with shots like that or opportunity, Sweeterman takes advantage of it. Eight fourth quarter points for the 6'3 junior. And all of a sudden it is a 20 point. And there's a offensive foul by New Knoxville's Ryland Durness as his third foul is committed as taking the charge is Ethan Post. Good job by Ethan Post absorbing the blow from Durness. The turnover will give the ball back to the Cavaliers and they've continued to build upon that good third quarter where they outscored New Knoxville 22 to 12, shooting extremely well in that quarter. This quarter had some misses, but three of them misses. They've been able to get the second chance opportunity and convert it back to points. Again, a lot of athletic players for the Cavaliers. As McKibben will find Jay Molenkamp, or I'm sorry, Carson Molenkamp, number 10. It was Carson versus Carson momentarily as Carson Molenkamp was being guarded by Carson Beerline. Turnover, the second of the quarter, just a fourth of the half. 12 total turnovers for the Cavaliers in a the game. They've done a decent job, especially in the first, uh, the second half, securing the basketball. Ethan Diller, 14 for the Cavs, in for Coach Fisher's squad as they are just about ready to go to two and one on the season and get a one and zero record in the MAC. Near line being guarded by Post. Pass thrown at the feet of Henshin. It'll stay with New Knoxville as the alternating possession will stay with New Knoxville. Ryan Osborne, number four, in for Patrick Covert. Osborne will trigger the ball inbounds for New Knoxville as they've got 
Osborne, Beerline, Reed Thomas, Jared Underwood, and Max Henschen, the five Rangers on the court as Beerline's long three won't drop this time. He's hit a couple of them. As the Cavaliers in control right now, the 20 point lead. Carson Mullenkamp shot no good. And there's another offensive rebound and more opportunities here for the Cavaliers as they continue to take advantage of their athletic ability to get the rebound as Jared Underwood picks up his first foul. Meyer, Jesse Meyer, 6'5", junior, 10 points on the night. His first free throw of the night, I'm sorry, second free throw, he missed the opportunity to convert a three-point play back in the second quarter. Kevin Fisher in for the Cavs, number 41, and also a 33, Marcel Blassing game. Meyer will try to score his 11th point. That went off the mark, rebounded by Henschen. Two minutes even is the final minutes of the fourth quarter and a 20 point lead for the Cavaliers. Henschen over to Carson, Beerline. Beerline able to should say get cut off. Osborne will reset. Again, strong defensive effort here by the Cavaliers. Hunter Ontrop, number 24, defending beer line. Good job by Osborne securing the missed shot. Minute 23, 1 2 3 left in the fourth quarter. Still a 20 point lead in Knoxville, having you know, difficulty here against the Coldwater defense. They've been very aggressive. Beer line shot no good, just short. Rebounded by the Cavaliers, and Kevin Fisher will bring it up. The final 60 seconds to go. And there's a charge. Good job by Beerline. He took a shoulder from number 14, Ethan Diller. And uh, that would be a sore one as he took the blunt charge of Ethan Diller. And he will check out. Troy Dwanger will replace Beerline. Beerline had 12 points in the first half and seven in the third quarter. He will finish with 19 on the game. He was held scoreless here in the fourth quarter. Henshin with the basketball being guarded by Blassing Game. Kicked, he'll stay with New Knoxville. Osborne. 5'10", junior. Inbounds the ball to Henshin. Dwanger with the screen. Henshin's left-handed shot off the of mark. Dwanger with the rebound. He is fouled. So good job by Troy Dwanger. Right spot, right time. Chance to get some varsity points here. Thirty-four seconds left. Dwanger. His first varsity action per se as he's. Uh, JV player, just a 5'9 freshman, getting some minutes here. His first point as a varsity player. JV contest was won by Coldwater, 49-23. Coach Chad Miller's team, best Keith Thomas's team, as there's a turnover. Henshin. Spin move, a nice move, and scores his sixth point of the night. Ten seconds ago, it's now 63 to 46. And the Cavaliers will hold on to the ball, and there will be your final score. And it is Coldwater 63, New Knoxville 46. Watch high school sports on NK Telco Sports. Take a break here, and while we'll come back, I'll rattle up their final numbers here on tonight's matchup between the Cavaliers and the Rangers. The hometown opportunity platform is exceptional. It is focused, laser focused, on the careers in our four county region. 100% of the time, we go to hometown opportunity. Uh, we've had great success from a handful of applications when we need them, as well as a recent one where we had 67 applicants. Honestly, it's a competitive advantage. The hometown experience has been everything I could have dreamed of and more. 
Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Our bankers are working hard day and night to provide the support needed right now. Even while we're apart, we're proudly working together with you and for you. We believe there's more, much more to all of us than these tough times. We see acts of compassion and cooperation all around our communities, and we're proud to be a part of it. And as our family of banks come together under our Park National Bank name, we promise you, we're all in this together. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen, and check us out on Facebook. Today's game is being brought to you by Grand Lake Health, Clopay Building Products, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, Sydney Anglais Audiology, NK Telco. Back here at New Knoxville, the Coldwater Cavaliers win tonight's Midwest Athletic Conference tilt between the Rangers, or over the Rangers, 63 to 46. Our final game summary looks like this. The Cavaliers from the field were 25 of 49 from the field. Of that, they were 2 of 14 from three-point range. New Knoxville, 17 of 42 from the field, of which they were 3 of 12 from beyond the arc. Free throw shooting, the Cavaliers 8 of 13. New Knoxville, 9 for 16. Rebounding margin belonged to the Cavaliers. They pulled down 31 rebounds. And of those, 11 were offensive, which they took advantage of that opportunity of the 11 offensive rebounds, two, four, six, eight, 10 points a result of that. So 10 points on second chance opportunity. Good job by the Cavaliers rebounding on the offensive end. New Knoxville pulled down 20 rebounds and had four second chance points. Turnover battle, or the turnover margin, the Cavaliers 13 turnovers, New Knoxville 16. Both teams took very good care of the basketball for the most part in the second half. Scoring in the game went like this for Coach Fisher's squad. Four players in double figures. They were led by Ethan Post with 14 points, 10 from Jesse Meyer, 10 from Tyler Sweeterman, and 10 from Zach McKibben. McKibben had a number of steals to go along for those efforts tonight that resulted in points either for him or a teammate. Also scoring for the Cavaliers, seven from Jay Mullenkamp, six from Carson Mullenkamp, six from Miles Blasson game, their total of 63. For New Knoxville, two players in double figures. Carson Beerline leads all scorers tonight with 19 points. Patrick Covert scored 16. Max Henschen scored six. Ryan Durness had four. Ryan Osborne, three. And Troy Dwenger, a free throw for New Knoxville's 46 points on the night. Coldwater improves to two and one on the season. New Knoxville drops to one and four. And before we sign off, I wanna announce our player of the game. And that award is going to go tonight to New Knoxville's Carson Beerline. Finished the game with 19 points, team high and game high honors there scoring the ball. So congratulations to the 6'4 junior Carson Beerline for his efforts tonight. That award is being brought to you or sponsored by NK Telco Sports. Congratulations to Carson Beerline. I want to thank our sponsors again. They are Clope Pay Building Products, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winners Meats, Sydney Auglaise Audiology, and NK Telco. That will wrap things up here from New Knoxville. My name is Jeff Henschen. I hope that you enjoyed this telecast. Once again, your final score, Coldwater 63, New Knoxville 46. Thanks for watching.